ISIS, the finalist from America's Next Top Model, Cycle 11. ISIS made history as the first transgendered contestant on America's Next Top Model. Joining us now is ISIS's mom, Sheree, and she's with us. And um, I, I really, really wanted to meet you. Like, and I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. Because I always wondered, like, what does ISIS's mom think? What, you know, what was her story, and how did she deal with this transition? So. What, when she told you, Mom, I'm transgender, first of all, where were you? Um, Do you remember? Let me see. The first day that Isis told me this, um, I had picked her up from the bus station, and I was waiting to get my younger child out of school. Mm -hmm. And um, we were waiting in the car, and Isis said, Mom, it's something that I, you know, I wanted to talk to you about. And I thought it would be like, what are we going to do the weekend or something like that. But... Um, she actually told me, she said, Ma, I, I feel that I'm transgender. And at the time, I really didn't know too much about what transgender that meant, yeah. um, people. So, um, so when she said, I feel like I'm a girl inside of my body, what did yeah. you feel? Actually, my first response, I just got really teary-eyed and I just, you know, I just cried. And then we discussed it, you know, at home later on discussed that day. Discussed it after. Mm -hmm. So what um, gave you the courage to tell your mom that you were transgender? Well, I guess... Um, well, when I decided to move up to um, New York, I had moved back home from college. I saved up enough money, and when I got the backbone, I went to therapy for a few months. And I got the backbone enough to say, you know what, I'm ready, and whether people like it or not, I'm about to do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. So I moved myself up there also to pursue my career as a designer and, you know, model mm -hmm. and just whatever happens. But um, so after going up there and, like, already starting to live my life, when I came back, I'm just like, hey. Time to tell her. You know. What's your birth name, Isis? Daryl. Daryl. Okay. So, when she told you that she's a woman and started dressing like a woman, mm -hmm. I, I assume, started dressing like a woman and wanted her to call, wanted you to call her Isis, did you immediately start doing that? Immediately no. make that change? No? No. That, Not that at all. What happened, time. Isis? She called me D for a while. D. Which is actually still better than saying Daryl, but, um... If me and Isis were in a store or something, I would turn around and me and Isis may have been the only person in the store and I'd be like, Daryl, you know, and then a lady or whoever was right there helping us out, they're like, who is she talking to? And I look to? back with her. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just like, Mom, let me just yeah. talk. You know, it's like, Mom, let me just talk, though, because you keep screwing it up, so. And um, do you ever mourn the son that you lost? Because there is a loss. Yeah, I, I did. It, yeah. You know, I, I cried for months. Yeah. I really did. Um, I want to show you some pictures of when you were a, a little boy, okay. which you would not give us on Top Model. <laughs> you, absolutely Aww. adorable. Oh, look at my baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, how old were you there? <laughs> Wait, hold on that um. one. <laughs> that one's wow. Um, that boy cute, right? Yeah, he's really cute. <laughs> Actually, really cute and very boyish. You're very girlish here, and and, um, and now in life, even with a washed face with no makeup, I've seen you mm -hmm. very girlish. That's a definite boy. On the outside, I, not on I the think, inside. I think it was more so like, okay, I have to take senior pictures. I took them at the end of 11th grade, but it was more so like, okay, my parents want these pictures. They're gonna treasure them. Let me boy it up. <laughs> and, and that's what I did for the pictures. You boyed like, it I'm up. Like, so boy it up. <laughs> you boyed it up. What does it look like to see the pictures, the baby picture? Let's go back to the baby picture. What does that look like for you, mom? I feel like for you. I tre you know, treasure those moments. Um, but I look at it like this. I thought about it, and this is who ISIS is today, mm -hmm. you know, so it doesn't bother me because I, I, I still have my child, you mm -hmm. know, so. That's and so true. That's my baby. And I really admire you for this because I have sat on this couch with so many parents that struggle so much, that love their child so much, but that disown them for uh -huh. beliefs. And it's like, and I, and I always say, I'm sure your child has done some really, really bad things and cussed you out and called mama, bitch, I don't love you, and I hate you! And they don't disown them, you know, and awful, great drugs, all kind of crazy things. But they don't disown them. But for something like this, they disown them. Exactly. And I feel like it's more about the parent than the child, certain embarrassments or disappointments. So I honor you as a mom that you have true, unconditional love because that's what mothers are on this earth for, to have true, unconditional love. I don't know what's going on in the house. 
I only know later when I'm in the editing bay, months later when we finish and I see what's going on. You had a lot of her from some of the girls. Um, and one of the girls that probably gave the most is here today. Clark is here. We'll be right back and talk to Clark. Oh.